morning adventurers from sunny warm New Mexico. So everything is going swimmingly with Clementine and Ruby. We have just been driving like champions. <laughs> but since things are going so well, we decided to just drive off into the desert and do our first wild camping experience in Clementine. We got our water, check, snacks, check, booze, double check. I guess we're ready to take on the desert and hopefully see a couple rattlesnakes. Or not. Maybe not. Alright. So here is the plan, you guys. We have entered New Mexico through the northeastern quadrant, and our plan is to head about 20 to 30 miles from where we are now to Mills Rim Campground. This is run by the Forest Service, so this is the first time we've taken Clementine on kind of public land. And one downside is you have to take a series of dirt roads to get out there, and anytime we're iffy on the route, we always basically do as much street view as we can, and then we look at the satellite and do like a top-down view, and it looks like a pretty chill dirt road to get out there. I mean, Clementine isn't exactly an off-road beast like some of the other vehicles we've been driving around in. We also end up reading the reviews and a lot of people take RVs and stuff out there so it should be all right and if we get stuck all we have to do is unhook Ruby there and she can tear it up she can go pretty much anywhere she can climb trees if she wants to <laughs> maybe she can nudge Clementine out of whatever ditch we fall into I don't think she has enough power for that but maybe <laughs> there's the northern campsite which we are gonna take our RV to and then you need basically four-wheel drive to get down to the southern campsite so our plan is to park there unhook Ruby and then drive her down and then see what it's all about do some like four by four backcountry driving I don't know I'm not sure what to expect but I think it's gonna be a blast. Hopefully not see any rattlesnakes. I wanna see a rattlesnake from very, very far away. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanna hear the rattle. I don't want it anywhere near Oh no, me. I don't wanna hear the rattle. That means we're like, yeah. you're too close, right? Did I just hear a rattle? <laughs> we made a quick stop to the Gladstone Mercantile. This is kind of our last chance for gas before we head out into the countryside. But this is their tank over here. <laughs> Looks like it hasn't been in operation for a while, but I think it actually works. Are we able to use like a credit card for the pump out there? Um, actually you pay in here and then I go and pump it. Okay, It's cool. an old fashioned thing. Okay. okay. Oopsie, looks like our gas stop turned into a shopping trip. <laughs> Y'all, this place is amazing inside. They have all kinds of trinkets and goodies. And we've been looking for a few more things to put in Clementine to kind of decorate it a little bit more. We might strike gold in yeah. here. We're this gonna walk awesome. out here with something, I think. Something, <laughs> but what? Ooh. I found my new hat. What do y'all think? Ooh. Man. <laughs> it's a little small though. <laughs> and I have a small head, so this must be for a child. Okay, so the way it works is you pay them in advance. They have to pump it for you on that old thing. And it's a whopping $5 a gallon. She was like, yeah, sorry about that. We just don't get wholesale. So you might only want to get a couple gallons. Yeah, get enough to get you to the next town is what she yeah, said. Yeah, exactly. So, luckily the RV we filled up just before we left town this morning. So yeah. we're good on that. So we'll just put a couple in Ruby spend ten dollars and be on our way. We spend a lot more than ten dollars actually. We ended up getting this cool tapestry thing. We're gonna hang it on the wall. Nice and lightweight but art. And then I got a cool bag for like day trips or traveling. I don't know. Groceries. We'll, we'll find something to use it for. Yeah. It looks great on you. <laughs> hey thanks. I really really like it. All right, we made it to the dirt road. It's pretty tame for a regular vehicle, but for Clementine, she's rattling all around, man. <laughs> this is definitely the bumpiest road that we've had her on. But it should only be about three miles down this long stretch of dirt road. Then we make a little left and we should be at the campsite. So far, so good. Just as long as we don't have to turn around, because we can't. <laughs> we have officially made it to the National Grasslands, and we are just getting some information before we head on to the campsite. Sadly, no grilling is allowed. Yeah, we it had says, plans to grill some charcoal steaks, but that's yeah. not gonna happen. Also, it says you can stay here up to 14 days. I wish I would have realized that. We were only staying a night, but we could have stayed two weeks. Yeah, we'd have to conserve water, but we might be able to last. We'll have to try that one day, see how far we can go. Luckily, the current fee to stay here is zero dollars. So, very nice. Free stay for two weeks if you're in the area, do it. Although, be aware. It's bear country and it's rattlesnake country. <laughs> and both of those things can hurt you a lot. So be, be Guns aware. Guns too. Oh but yeah. Luckily there's no shooting allowed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna hop back in Clementine. We're gonna head down there and the campground should be down there somewhere like, you know, in that canyon kind of thing over there. Hopefully. Let's Fingers do it. crossed. <laughs> Oh, 
ugly bananas. Ruby got so dirty back here. So we made it to our campsite, but there is another campsite at the bottom of the canyon, I guess. It had a sign though that said no RVs allowed to be on this point. So it said not recommended. Not recommended. <laughs> and they were talking about big old rigs like Clementine. <laughs> yes, big old, old rigs like Clementine. That's why we have Ruby here. We're gonna unhook her and we're gonna go off-roading or it is on, on road and more like possibly four by four. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Four by fouring on a rocky road. Good one. I saved it maybe. <laughs> always forget to put the parking brake on before we do this. If we forgot that, Ruby would just go rolling right now. Yeah, <laughs> that would, would not be not ideal. Be bueno. I'd be chasing after her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want to hear. All right, Ruby's officially ready. Clementine definitely would not have made it on this trail, but uh, Ruby, on the other hand, it's right at home, baby. <laughs> She's making quick work of this stuff. Some of this is a little treacherous though, but you have really epic canyon views all around, all these rolling hills covered in rocks and boulders. This was our vision when we put together this rig, all right, to have Clementine to get us to the campsite and then Ruby to get us to the places that Clementine can't go. <laughs> and it's finally working three years later. Yeah, I'm having so much fun out here. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. This guy has a giant class A holiday rambler down here. Did he? drive that dirt track? I don't know, I, maybe this is its final resting place? I mean, it looks pretty junked out. There's a bunch of trash bags around it, but I don't know how you would get that thing out of here. I don't know how he got it down here. I mean, it's not the worst road in the world, but I wouldn't want to drive a class A down that. How do you even make some of those turns? I don't know, but maybe that makes us weenies for not bringing Clementine. Oh, I would never bring Clementine. Clementine would not have made that, all right? <laughs> she would never make it back up. I don't know how he did that, it's magic. <laughs> We have made it to the bottom of the canyon, you guys. Man, that was a really fun drive, just like going over the rim and getting down in it. But this is actually one of the things we came down here to see. It's those ruins right over there. <laughs> nice zoom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quick zoom. Right, let's go see what they're about. Welcome to Melvin Mills home, or what's left of it. Yeah. So believe it or not, this used to be a functioning home. <laughs> I can't believe it. A home, he actually had an entire ranch here with multiple buildings. He came to New Mexico in the 1800s. He was a lawyer. He was on the run a lot because he defended a lot of uh, questionable people, I guess. But sadly, in 1904, a huge flood came through the area and kind of ruined the entire ranch. He had to move out a few years later. I guess it bankrupted him and he ended up dying in the 20s. A pretty sad story. But if you come here, you can see what's left of his home. It's crazy to walk into a structure like this and it just looks like pure earth, but there's just the remnants of what used to be. I would love to take a structure like this and remake it into a home. That would be so cool. Yeah, to have what's left of it as like original stuff and then you build onto that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, that was super cool. I can recommend coming out here and checking out these ruins. Yeah, there's not another soul out here. There are trails going off in every direction. You could spend an entire day or days out here. Well, I realized one major drawback of summer weather. You got a lot of exposed skin, and that means <laughs> a lot of opportunities to mangle your limbs. Look what I just did, y'all. <laughs> I was oh, trying man. to, I opened the door and was trying to go in and just caught it at the perfect moment. Sliced my leg right up. Whoopsie doopsie. It's just a flesh wound yeah. though, you know. This door also sliced me up. I have a big scar on my arm from that time where the aluminum was exposed and it sliced this me up, door. so. We've gotten some pretty gnarly gashes from this RV in general. I had a pretty good cut from our, from this door. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. Before we attached it, this thing was laying in there and it sliced her up. Man, this RV's got a vendetta against me. Probably because I ripped her to pieces so now she's trying to rip <laughs> me to pieces. <laughs> well, this turned out to be a pretty friggin' nice night you guys 
Oh yeah, we are utilizing our rooftop. We are taking in the sunset, or I guess we took in the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gone now. But we really have this fantasy of putting like some kind of astroturf or something up here, but I don't even think we need it, you know? I think this is totally fine. Maybe just a blanket if we want to sit up here yeah. instead of lugging our chairs up here. Yeah, this roof is actually really sturdy. It's built with two by fours all the way across. So yeah. yeah, it can hold a lot of weight. Obviously having an awesome campfire would just be like, a cherry on top for the evening, but that's okay. We've got our brewskis. Oh yeah, where's mine? From oh yeah. there. Ding. Ding. We've got each other's lovely company. We've got you guys creeping on us over there. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Why don't you guys, uh, you know, buzz off. Get on up there. Well, the sun has slowly set over the hills over there. Sadly, we like we mentioned, we can't do a fire. So luckily we just got our propane fixed. So it has been working like a charm. I know we said this in the last <laughs> video, but we just love it. <laughs> it's one project where everything more or less went according to plan. Obviously we have to still have to cut the door for the propane tank, but details, details. But most importantly, Clementine is an off-grid machine. We've got plenty of solar power to last the night. We've got tons of propane. Everything is working out. We've even got a little bit of internet. We're watching an episode of Seinfeld here. We have one bar and it's working. Also, do you guys notice? Oh yeah. This our is table. our new table that we built. This is one item that we are 100% happy with. It's great. I mean, it's a little wobbly. But I said 100%. Oh, 100. I mean, we are 100% happy with it. We love the wobble. It makes it exciting. It doesn't even, every toes. table wobbles. Come on, it's a little skinny thing. No, it's fine. We were going to take it outside tonight. That was our big idea. We were going to grill outside, have this out there and everything. But now we're just in here, which is totally fine. Yeah, we actually have been using this every single night. It every is awesome. night, yeah. every morning. It's beautiful. It folds down and we just set it up in our bed when we're driving. It's easy. All right, now back to Seinfeld. And we happen to be on probably their most famous episode. <laughs> you know what this episode's called? The, oh shoot, not the bet, but the... Uh... Drama, I'm out of the contest. Duh! The contest! <laughs> Dang it! I knew it! I was about to get there! Shoot! That was fast! What was that woman across the street? This particular spot is known for having a really epic dark night sky and confirmed you can see a lot of stars out here the only way you can capture it is with like a long exposure shot i think i'm going to try one of those we have this app that you can hold up that shows you where all the constellations are and the milky way is just like out there but you can't quite see it not quite i don't think it's quite dark enough sky or maybe it's the time of year or there's something in the atmosphere but i feel like if you really squint you can see it a little bit you can bit. see it a little bit like yeah the faintest bit <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Good morning. We had a pretty amazing day and night yesterday. We really enjoyed just being out here in nature, pretty much having the whole place to ourselves. This is what we always planned yeah. when we thought of this whole setup and it is finally coming true. Our yeah. dreams are finally being realized. And most importantly, this didn't cost us a dime. I mean, we have infinite power because the sun has been shining so brightly. You've stayed mm. at 100%. There was no fee to come into this area. The only downside is we haven't seen any rattlesnakes unless maybe we'll see one in the next five seconds. I don't know, I went on a little walk this morning. I was very careful, but you know, looking around. And I really want to see one. We didn't see yet one. But yeah, I think we're going to be doing this kind of off-grid stay on public land a lot because this was a blast. Mm -hmm. I also love that it's just really easy to pack everything in because we didn't have to hook anything up. All we do is drive in and then we pretty much drive out. We do have to hook up Ruby though, so we're probably going to do that and then we're going to hit the road. Yep. Is that it? Easy peasy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Holy cow, Ruby's engine got really dirty. <laughs> Man, it's hard to look at that because it's been basically pristine since we got it installed. <laughs> but this is what it's meant for. It's supposed to be dirty. <laughs> yeah, right? She's yeah. in her element, technically. She probably loves it. Yeah, we're gonna give her and Clementine a good bath, maybe later today or tomorrow. I don't know, because I don't want that dirt to just sit on there and get caked on it. All right, but anyways, battery disconnected. Ruby's all set up. Time to hit the road. Friggin' Jeff stole my sunglasses, man. Well, he rocks them a lot better than you do, though. Hey, Can you blame him? Come on. Anyway, 
guys, we are about to head to Albuquerque, which is about a three hour drive from here. We actually visited there a few years ago. I think we made some videos in the yeah, area. We'll link to them in the description or yeah, something. I remember it being a lot of fun, so I'm excited to go back. All right, pedal to the metal, baby. Woo, or Woo. pedal to the 10 miles an hour. That's how fast I'm gonna go. Good one. <laughs> putting Clementine's brakes to the test. We got an eight and a half percent grade. They've got a bunch of warning signs for that and they also have a bunch of falling rock warning signs. It's crazy, it looks like we're driving around a crater rim or something. Yeah, it really came out of nowhere. It's like a mini Grand Canyon. It was so flat and now it is the opposite of that. Yeah. All right, we officially made it to Albuquerque. We didn't really have any issues. We've been having some little quirks to work out, but we haven't really been filming them because they're not that exciting. We've been fixing them, so it's all fine. It's all good. For everyone who's been sending us good vibes, thanks. It seems to be working. Finally, <laughs> Finally. we needed it. But after Albuquerque, we are heading even further west. We are going to Nevada, but you'll have to stay tuned to see what we get up to. But it's going to involve some good times and some good friends. Yeah, I think it's gonna be unlike any other stay we've done in the RV. <laughs> oh yeah, awesome. We're just having like one cool stay after another. It's been so cool. I'm so excited, so happy to be out here. All the, the good adjectives. <laughs> That's it, goodbye adventurers. We'll see you on the road.